pause. All right. Excellent. All right. We've hit record. We've got people on the line. We're here to talk about the top 10 digital tips. Uh, now, this month, what I wanted to do, just a reminder, we've got 30 minutes, nice, quick, punchy stuff. Take notes. As always, you will get a copy of the recording. So thank you for spending 30 minutes with us. I noticed over the last couple of months, I've been really heavy on apps, um, which is always cool. But I thought this month we'd kind of uh, flip the switch a little and we'd talk about some tips and some tricks. So there's some really cool ones that I want to share with you this month. And I've also got a bit of a sneaky one in there at the end for anyone looking for something for a cool Father's Day gift. All right. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, pop them into the chat box. I'll keep that kind of going on the side. Um, and here we go. Okay. So the first one I was reading about, because I'm a bit of a sucker for a good microphone, as you can probably tell, and I'm a fan of the Rode products. Now for anyone who is doing uh, Facebook lives or any kind of lives, any kind of in-person recording, and you don't want to be wired up and talking about things, Rode have released their new wireless audio recording. It weighs 30 grams, so nice and light. It's got seven hours of charge, recharges via USB-C, and it has onboard recording, so it record up to around 40 hours. So for those of us wanting to capture in-person interviews, live streams, doing stuff on the go, um, really cool little product, couple of hundred bucks, Google Road Wireless Go To, and you'll be able to have a look at it. All right, um, hands up my Apple users. In the last update on the iPhone, they gave you the ability to pin conversations in iMessage. So um, you can pin up to nine messages. So uh, really handy for you know those that you have text messages with frequently. You can have them sitting at the top of the screen so you don't have to keep scrolling through and trying to find them when you want to send someone a message. So you can pin a conversation and keep it at the top of your screen. All you do is... Um, to, to pin the message, you find the person that you want and you control click or you swipe to the right and it will pin, pop a little like a pin tack beside it and then moves them to the top of the screen. So super, super handy. And I love that one. I think I have um, about four or five people pinned so far. Really handy one to know. Okay, last time. Last time is for my Android users. This is a really cool little app. So not all tips and tricks. This is a really cool little app that has been released for Android. And it's a great one for um, mapping activities and timeline managers. So what you do is you enter the last time you did something into an app. So for example, the last time I had the car service. Um, oh, nice one, Matt. So Matt says Android messages now offer a pin for SMS as well. So thank you, Matt. Um, do you want to pop in how you do that? And I'll, I'll share that as a bonus tip from Matt. So um, yeah, so let's say you, you know, it's stuff that you forget. Like when was the last time I had the car serviced or when was the last time I got the dog vaccinated or I had to worm them or whatever. So you pop the last time that you did the task into the app e.g. the last time I had the car service, as well as any notes that you want. And then you can tag them and add sections. So, you know, this is a, a tag for everything to do with the car or the home, etc. And then you can search via the task for something specific. So rather than going, I don't know, trying to look through the calendar and figure out when was the last time you had the car serviced or scroll through email messages or, you know, argue with your partner about, I think it was then, was it this? You just open up last time and happy days all there. It's getting really good reviews. So check that one out. Um, so Matt, thank you. So for my Android users, if you want to pin a message on SMS, you hold down, hold the message to select and icons will come up at the top of the screen. Select the pin icon. There you go. Bonus tip for the month from Matt. Thank you, Matt. Love that. Readly. Okay. I love this program. I've been using this, or Pete and I have been using this for months on our iPad. Um, it's a one-stop location for all your magazines. So rather than paying for various subscriptions for different magazines all over the place. So look, I'm a nerd. I subscribe to Mac format and um, there's three different Mac magazines each month to the Android magazine, to the PC magazine, um, Nat Geo, um, Delicious, 
uh, the F1 mag. So there's thousands of magazines on this site, Readly. It's got family sharing. So once you sign up, you know, you can share the magazines and you can block certain magazines from some members of the family if you don't want to have them. Um, it's got offline reading as well. So you don't have to be using data. You can download the magazines when you're in range and then you've got them on your device. Unlimited reading. Um, and it's available on the App Store and Google Play. And they're giving one month free to give it a go right now. So if you're a magazine fan, it is fantastic. The only thing I would say is for me, I need to use it on the iPad, like the, the screen of the iPhone or um, like an Android. It's just too little for me to kind of flick through on a magazine. But the iPad, perfect. Um, and it's a really nice little app. Um, and really, really nice just to have all your magazines in the one location. Got sick of paying subscriptions all over the place. So really cool little app for that. Okay, Instagram settings. So this one's kind of changed recently. And one of the recent updates, um, what happened was, and this is a Facebook thing, right? So, you know, you just need to always be on top of this stuff. Um, Instagram changed its settings. It would automatically sign you up for research, for emails, for tests, uh, text, newsletters, reminders, and all, et cetera. So to change your settings or to look what settings that you have permitted on your Instagram, log into your app. And I did it on my mobile, nice and easy. Log into Instagram app, go to settings, go to notifications, and then you'll see an email and SMS option. And then all you do is toggle off the ones that you want to disconnect. But I thought it was really cheeky, right? That they... um. And I don't know about you, but I've been starting to see more stuff coming through from them and I didn't know why. Um, so just a nice reminder to just keep on top of that stuff as they, you know, as they roll out new algorithms and new updates and things, they flick that stuff through and change all your settings again. And you've just got to go in and be on top of it. So um, settings, notifications, emails and SMS, and you can control what information they're sharing and, and signing you up for. All right, Google Alerts. Um, who are my Google Alert users on the call? Pop a little yes or a little um, comment in the chat box. I love Google Alerts. I use it to get my information on, um, you know, on, on articles that I want to post about, write about. You know, I keep an eye on what's going on for the digital guide. I keeps going on an eye on what's going on for my clients. Um, and I use Google Alerts a lot. Um, but here's some tips that you can use to make your Google alerts a little bit more effective because I find them a little bit scattergun approach. You get a bunch of stuff that comes through, right? And you're like, oh, this is not really relevant. So here we go. So a few tips in here for Google alerts. So you can use quotation marks around things and it will only alert you when those words are used together. So for example, Tracy Sheen, the digital guide, um, uh, Matt Dell, you know, you can just put quotation marks around the words and it won't give you an alert anytime um, digital or guide or something has popped up in an article. It will just give you an alert around the things in quotation marks. If you use a plus sign, um, you'll avoid synonyms and variations in spelling. So um, plus uh, digital marketing, you won't get. Um, digital marketing advisors or digital marketing jobs or career choices or anything like that. Or if you were like looking for baking, you wouldn't get bakers and um, bakers jobs and things like that. So that's a nice one that will kind of narrow down your search a little bit. Um, you can exclude words by using the, uh, the minus symbol in front of the word. So a really handy one for that is I think about Twitter. Uh, a lot of the Google alerts are tweets that come through. So, you know, um, so I could put digital marketing minus Twitter and it's going to exclude Twitter from any of those updates that I get through on my Google alerts. You can exclude an entire site like Twitter. Uh, use it after your phrase. So like I said there, Tracy Sheen minus Twitter won't give me any, any of my tweets that have come through. Um, and if you put the, the minus symbol in front of the word, so minus digital marketing, um, you won't get you know, that through there as well. So really handy things for Google Alerts. And if you haven't set up Google Alerts, highly recommend that you do that. 
just Google, Google alerts. Um, and it's a great way to just be keeping on top of what's being posted about what's being talked about in your industry. Matt just put another awesome comment in the chat box. Thank you, Matt. Most local council libraries offer free to cheap memberships with your library card so you can access their digital libraries. I read most of the mags you mentioned for free via the Libby app um, via my local library. Yep, so, um, and Matt's put a link to that in the chat box. We like the Libby app for the books. Um, haven't thought of that for the magazines though, to be honest. I can't, I'm, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I like them on my device and to know that they're mine and I don't have to hand them back, but good job. Thank you, Matt, you're on fire today. Um, you'll be going to be taking my job over soon. Awesome. Okay, Spotlight Search. This one, again, is for my Mac users. Spotlight has had a bit of an update uh, that it's now doing more stuff. And I love Spotlight. If I'm looking for anything, instead of me going to Finder and trying to search it, I just use Spotlight. So it really does give you a really fine level of searching available on your Mac. So all you do is press the command and space bar to bring up the uh, spotlight search, and then you can type anything in. So you can look for a file, you can look for a folder, you can even ask it questions like, you know, what's the distance between the earth and the sun, or how many grams in this, or what temperature is that, you know, so it's really, really good. They have refined spotlight search a lot. Um, and command sidebar, a space bar is how you bring it up, use it. It's, it's so much easier than trying to, you know, go through Finder and access all your different folders and try to figure it out. All right, home base. So home base is an employee scheduling, it's time clocks and it's payroll. So um, I was thinking about this the other day for, um, you know, working with clients you don't need or working with um, contractors, you don't need maybe a full time based platform, but you just want to keep a kind of a track on what's happening across the company. So it basically turns pretty much almost any device into a time clock that will allow you to track the hours, breaks, overtimes, etc. You can adjust and share your, uh, your schedule. So like a calendar to your employees in real time. So if you, um, you know, have to go out for a meeting, you can pop that in and straight across the home base, everybody gets to see that like, hey, Matt's not going to be available for the next, Sadie's not going to be available for the next two hours or whatever that looks like. So really, really instant communication. It's also a team communications platform. So I know a lot of you already use Slack. It's probably the most popular now. Just another option. Um, it does have inbuilt team comms uh, and they do a free pay, free plan through to paid options. So if you're looking for kind of uh, an all in one system that's going to do a bit of tracking, bit of scheduling, a little bit of, it also does a bit of payroll, um, although I'm not convinced how good the payroll is. I'll just put that out there. Uh, but, you know, for a free plan, if you're looking for something to kind of play around with instead of paying for, a, you know, a time clock kind of platform, Homebase is definitely one to have a check out. It's going gangbusters on the reviews right now, which is always a great sign for me when something gets released like that. Okay, Miller Note. So, Miller Note's kind of interesting and I, I'd encourage you to Google it and have a look at it yourself just to get a real handle on what it does because it's a, it's a little bit of a, a bit of a catch-all kind of program, which is kind of cool. So you can organize ideas and projects into visual boards. They're kind of like a Trello, but a bit more visual. So you can kind of pin stuff, you can share it, you can add ideas, you can break it down into projects, you can add notes, you can add to-do lists, you can upload files, you can put in images, um, you can add notes and photos from your phone. And as a team, you can work on something in real time. So I was chatting to someone the other day who was going through a branding exercise and they were using Miller Note as part of that. So often um, in branding space, branding agents will often say to people, you know, just create a bit of a Pinterest board with kind of 
images and colors and things that you like and they'll use that as a basis to help them kind of develop the look and feel for the business but what I saw this company doing was using Milanote and they were popping you know the whole team was kind of populating this this platform with ideas and font styles and colors and images and you know notes about you know we don't want this but we want to be known for that and all that kind of stuff so really quite um, collaborative and really a powerful tool for developing something like that. Matt is on absolute fire. So Matt says, I had a community group I was helping to roster their volunteers and they were struggling to find an app that didn't cost the earth. Homebase looks good. Uh, yeah, I definitely give Homebase a crack, Mel. Uh, Matt, it's um, it's got pretty good security features too, which is something that you're looking for with a, a community group. So considering it starts as a free version, Give it a go from there. I think the next version up is like six bucks a month. So really as cheap as chips compared to some of the, you know, Timely and, and some of those other apps. So definitely give that one a crack. All right. So Milanote looks like a lot of fun. I can see a lot of uses there, um, branding, collaborating on projects, um, getting ideas off teams, moving forward, things like that. So really cool one to have a play with. Um, okay. This one is for my dad's in the group or for anyone who kind of likes toys when it comes to fitness. Um, so check out Mixer Plus. So M double I X R and capital M capital X R little I's. What are they called when they're not capitals? I don't know. Um, I should know that. I wrote a book. Mixer Plus. So this is for anyone who loves gadgets. Let's just say it's a Father's Day gift for the dad that loves gadgets. So it's a protein shaker, but it's got, thank you, lowercase. Of course it is, Monique. Thank you. Of course it is. That makes sense. It's not little letters, is it? It's lowercase. Yes. Uh, having a moment. So it's a protein shaker, right? But it's got an inbuilt motor. So instead of you having to, you know, look like a cocktail um, expert when you're on the fly and you need to mix up a shake, this thing's got a cool little inbuilt motor that makes your shakes really, really smooth. Um, yes, it can work for cocktails as long as you're not putting, you know, big chunks of ice in there. They reckon it's 100% leak proof. I was kind of having a bit of a play with one the other day. It looks really cool. Um, it's device charging, so it's USB charged. Uh, it lasts for a few, you know, few days. I couldn't kind of figure out how long it would. I guess it depends how many times you use it. But, you know, protein shakes, if you wanted to mix up a, a soup or a cup of soup or something like that, providing it's not too chunky, then this thing is great. And it just looks like one of those gadgets that you kind of got to have if you're a bit of a gym junkie or someone that enjoys a good protein shake or a smoothie or something like that. So check out Mixer Plus. It's on Amazon. Uh, there were a few retailers and there's quite a few retailers in Australia that stocked it as well. Um, there was a Maya the other day where I saw this one. So worth having a play with okay so we flew through those so let's go back through them let me know which one you like the look of this week of this month let me know which one you're going to check out let me know if you've got any questions so matt's going to check out um, the time tracking one so remember we had the road wireless mics so they're great for anyone doing you know face-to-face -face podcasting wanting to do live streams wanting to capture anything on the go chat to people face to face really good charge seven hours um, onboard recording Rhodes an Australian company I've been using their products now for gosh years um, all my mics are Rhodes so I've got this one I've got a wireless couple of wire a uh, couple of wired lapel mics um, I'm going to be investigating this one further um, definitely worth yeah Sadie it's it's a cracker um, okay pinning a conversation in iMessage or also we found out in Android thanks Matt so for iMessage uh, it is control click or just swipe to the right you'll see the little pin come up and you can pin up to nine conversations and remember on um, Monique's just pinned to contacts I love that um, and remember for SMS it was to press and hold the message and then the option for the pin would come up so thank you Matt uh, we talked about last time which is the one that Matt is going to have a go at for his uh, community based organizer oh no not last time we're looking at the time tracker so last time's the cool one where you can go when was the last time I mowed the lawn when was the last time I 
got the car service. So that looks like a really cool one to check out if you're an Android user. It's not yet on Apple, um, but getting cracking reviews. Readly, if you don't want to try the library, the free library app, Readly has one month free. So either way, give it a crack for a month. It's, you know, it's, it's really good. Um, and it is on Apple Play and it's also um, Google Play. I'm having a real trouble with my words today. In the words of Lisa Simpson, I think I've lost my perspicacity. Uh, it's on Google Play and Apple App Store. I use it on my iPad. Thousands of magazines, UK ones, US ones. Um, I also get uh, like the CEO mags out of Asia and stuff. So um, Inc and um, CEO and Fortune and stuff like that. Asia, US, UK, fantastic little app that collaborates and, and holds all your magazines. Instagram settings, just a reminder to go back in and make sure that you're checking what they're signing you up for. Just know a little bit about your privacy and know what, uh, what they're trying to send you. So settings, notifications, email and SMS, and have a look there and toggle off the stuff that you don't want. Um, Google Alerts, we talked about you know, refining what we're getting on our Google Alerts. So using quotation marks to keep the words together because uh, I do get a lot of random stuff through and I'm like, how the hell are they sending me that stuff? Um, use the plus sign to avoid the synonyms and variations in spelling. So digital plus digital marketing, um, you're not going to get, you know, digital marketing jobs, that kind of stuff through. And then if you want to exclude a site, et cetera, just pop the, the after your phrase you know, e.g. Tracy Sheen minus Twitter. All right. The spotlight search for Mac users. Remember it's command and space bar and it's just been expanded with what you can search for. So use it to ask questions, you know, use it to find stuff on your iPad or on your Mac. It is a really handy little tool and it is so underutilized in my opinion. It's going to save you a truckload of time. Uh, home base is the one that Matt's going to use for the community organization. Um, so Sadie said already love Spotlight. Definitely check it out more. Yeah, you, you, I, I'd be interested to know if it, you know, will give you things around yarn too. You know, ask it a question about yarn. See, let's see how good it is. So home base. Um, uh, so this is the employee scheduling time clocks and things. So remember, this starts free. So if you just kind of taking a step in just lets you get all the information you need uh, and then you can move up with the plans. The only thing I'd be a bit mindful of is just watch that payroll section. I'm not convinced that it's great, but works really well with time clocking um, and employee scheduling across the thing. Um, thank you, Raya. So Raya's just said that she loves how straight into it it is and it's only half an hour. Yeah, no, no one's got time to hang around and listen to people rave. So Thank you. Um, Miller note, this one just looks like a lot of fun. So if you're working on a project, if you're, you know, rebranding something, um, you know, I'm, I'm working on uh, revamping my podcast on so just be using this to be thinking about throwing different ideas into the mix, maybe even get my, um, my collaborators on to be kind of thinking about how we're going to brainstorm the reimagining of the podcast. So just, I reckon you can have a bit of fun with this and I reckon it would be good, you know, even for planning family holidays, which wouldn't it be lovely if we could do that again now where we could all get, you know, all of the family can be throwing in ideas and we can be narrowing it down. So maybe it's a nice way to kind of, think about where we're going to go when we're allowed to again that's got to happen soon right hopefully and then mixer that's the protein shaker with the inbuilt motor now i don't know about you but i'm just a total gadget geek at heart so i really think i've just got to grab one of these for the sake of having it because who doesn't love um you know a smooth protein shake there's no nothing worse than having to kind of gulp down a glug full of powder because it didn't quite shake up properly. So um, give the mixer a go. And look, you've still got time, Father's Day, for those, you know, that are looking to get something for hubby or dad or anyone, their significant uh, male person in their life. Uh, we've still got a week to get it delivered. So there you go. 
A reminder, folks, for anyone interested, the Tech Club has launched. Um, Sadie, there's a few others on the call that are a member of the Tech Club. It's 66 bucks a month. We get together three times a month and we talk tech. So we do a masterclass. We have a Q&A session. Um, we've got another Q&A off the masterclass. You get templates, you get checklists. Um, there's a bunch of stuff included in the Tech Club. So it starts at 66 bucks a month. I'll put the link in the email when I send the recording out. But keep it in mind, if you're you know, any way interested in how technology can improve your business, if you're feeling overwhelmed, any of that kind of stuff, Tech Club is the place for you to come and hang out and spend some more time with me. You know, we do spend a lot of time together. So that's it. We are finishing two minutes before... Thank you, Claire. Um, awesome. It's a no-brainer. So Claire's one of our, our club members as well. So don't forget, folks, there's my website, digitalguide.com.au. Info at the Digital Guide is my email. LinkedIn, let's connect. Facebook, make sure you're following me. If you're enjoying these webinars, please share the link with your business buddies. I'll pop the registration link in the email. Love to get some more people in and, um, and get them joining us every month. So I will see you all again next month when we talk our next top 10 digital tips, tricks, and hacks. Until then, have a great month, and I'll see you then. Now I've got to find the off button again because all my things have gone disappearing today, so isn't that interesting? Ah, you can all disappear when you want to. Meanwhile, I'm just going to chat to myself while I try and figure out what's going on with Zoom this month. Updates. Zoom updates has been the bane of my existence in the last two days. See, even the digital guide gets frustrated with technology. And I think, there we go.